talking about podcasting is hard. It is. I'm it, knackered. I'm tired. Who'd have thought, who'd have thunk it that just chatting is like it just mentally drains you, doesn't it? My head. It's, it's, yeah, like it, I'm not tired as in like I think I could probably go and like walk to the shops. But I'm tired as in, like, I don't think... I can't be asked to be sat here with you. (laughs) Yeah, I'm I'm a bit dumb with you right now. Yeah, yeah, and your sense of direction's pissed me off all day. My sense of direction, yeah, so, hello guys. (laughs) Oh, oh, we're going now. Welcome to episode five. (laughs) Yeah. Right, no, upbeat, the word is on the street, let's go. Um, Yeah, so, episode five, yeah, we've had had a bit of a mad day, so, um, we've recorded five, six, and seven today. Yeah. Um and we've we yes we've smashed we've we've smashed three chats with three very different people in one day and now we are at my house again recording the intros and the outros for yeah. three four five yeah so f- episode five we went over to glorious uh, five six seven what am I on about three four five five six seven yeah sorry go on yeah yeah go on see so episode five no yes episode five this Start, yeah. yeah told you we're knackered <laughs> episode five we fueled up the car um and we went to bolton we did we around did. to an actress who we've both had the pleasure of working with both had the pleasure of watching sparkle in coronation street when she, yeah. she had a stint on that um strictly as well strictly come dancing she was runner up on and a number of brilliant um uh, musicals. Mm-hmm. She did the Rocky Horror Show yeah. and Breakfast at Tiffany's. Gotta sound like a stalker. I know everything you about literally her. Literally, but we are born on the, exactly the same day. Oh, she's crazy. a year older. That's that's mad. Isn't it? We're basically you... meant to be together. Is what I think. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting married at the end of the year, but Tom... child must understand. That's fine. <laughs> it's almost profe- pro- professing. Is that the word? His love for for our guest today, Georgia May Foot. Georgia May Foot. Um, yeah, she's she's <clears throat> mint, isn't she? Is that like Georgia? She's a lovely girl, and I've not really seen much of her really since um, eighty six. Um, and we yeah we went over to her house today, um, and we we had a bit of a chat about um, city life being overrated. Yeah, so so, so Georgia's um, <clears throat> subject was city life, mm. although in. Her bathroom, the first thing we did when we got there was go for a wee. <laughs> Not together. Together. Oh, it's almost a word, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and her wallpaper in, in a downstairs bathroom is... All Lon- different London, London, London streets. London streets. Names, it, yeah. Piccadilly Circus, Oxford Street, Regent Street and all that jazz. Make um, your mind up, Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> but it was it was a brilliant chat, I thought. And Yeah, I think... Sorry, go on, yeah. No, no, that's all I had. Yeah, no, it was, it was a brilliant chat. And, um, that's it all was, I've got in my head, it's fried. <laughs> it was nice because um, she... It, it goes a little bit London-centric, I think. You know, you might listen to this and, and, it, and it's almost, you know, L- London's over it, but she's not. It's city life. Um, I think one thing, and you'll know this as well, Tom, be, being an actor from the North, mm. you know, I think we mentioned a few times in the podcast and that, that like, you know, um, you, you kind of grow you kind of uh have this mentality of being an actor in the north that you have to move to london you have to live in london when you're older and that's what you do and stuff like that and me and yourself we've kind of we've i mean i lived there for a little bit so i kind of yeah. fell victim to that but we've always apart from my nine ten month stint there we've always kind of remained true to to to, to living up north and not living you know, I live in, in a city, but I live in the suburbs. Yeah. You live in in, in a town, right? Grimsby's yeah, Grimsby's a town. Yeah, I live in a very... We um, all, we're, we're all town, aren't we? We are all town. <laughs> yeah, the boys will be glad to hear that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I live in, in, a, in, a, in a little um, in a little new estate just in, in the middle of town. And it's beautiful. It's dead mm. quiet. And it's reasonably, re- reasonably priced. Yeah. So we can afford a holiday. You know, we, we can, you know, we can afford to do the things that we want to do in life. And and have a nice house where we, you know, me and Charlotte have spoke about it. But if we moved to London, we would have to take up full time jobs. The pair of us, yeah, and we'd just make rent, yeah, and we wouldn't be able to afford to do the things. You know, we're getting married at the end of the year. As people listeners may know, that's not cheap. Yeah, so not and you, all. yeah, exactly. So you know, we're very fortunate in the, in the terms that. We live a very happy life in Grimsby, and I don't want to jeopardise the happy relationship that we've got by moving to London and it just being a stress about money. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If, like we're far from we're, we're far from rich in Grimsby. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But like yeah, I say, yeah, yeah. We, we can afford to, to to go out for a meal and things like that. <clears throat> Whereas in London, we probably that the, struggle. Yeah, the kind of daily things become a bit more luxurious, don't they? There because yeah. one, you don't have the money to do it, and then two, if you do have the money to do it, they're even more expensive to do there. Because exactly, cause living costs are insane. Money. If you want to go for a pint, it's like you're talking six quid for a pint in my local it's what like one pound eighty nine for a pint is it mm. is it yeah that's mint one pound eighty nine for a pint one pound eighty nine yeah so on you can a go Friday in with a tenner and get five pints on a Friday night still in, give in my a... local in the parry and it was the place to be it was round <clears throat> yeah on a Friday night you could get a double vodka lemonade for one pound fifty that's amazing so you go in with a tenner and you're absolutely steaming so that's amazing and 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 you know yeah I mean obviously I'm Manchester, so um, it's it's a little bit more pricey yeah. than, than Grimsby. You know, um, I think a pint in my local's near enough four quid. But I think I think your local, the Fairbank, is is quite expensive. It's, it's an expensive pub. I it think. is a very expensive pub. Yeah, it's a nice boozer though as well. So it's, you don't mind. Yeah, it's, and the company's good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah and yeah. I think if you if you find somewhere that you like, exactly, you don't mind paying, do you? Do you know no. what I mean? Hypothetically, if London was as cheap to live as Grimsby mm. would you do it even everything's the same you have mm. to get on a tube all that it's still busy if you could afford to live there in a you know a three bedroom house in the middle of London would you do it I don't think I would I, I think because me and Charlotte are so settled at home mm. you know Charlotte's mum will cook for us uh, once a week you know yeah. maybe once a fortnight um, and as you know, Charlotte's mum used to at, at a restaurant for 20, 20 yeah, something yeah. years. So when Judith cooks, she cooks. Yeah, yeah. So I think I'd miss that. Good food. Yeah. Um, and I've got all my mates. You met all them when yeah, we was in yeah. Benidorm. And yeah, man, I, I've just got it too good at home with all my mates and all my family. And yeah, I don't see the reason to move. And, and the thing is now is, <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I shot a film in London a couple of weeks ago Um and I shot Summers Town there. Yeah, they're the only two jobs that I've really done there. Yeah, I've I've done like maybe two jobs in London in, in the in yeah. the fifteen years. I've been in Manchester for, for weeks and weeks. Yeah. I've been in, you know, I've been God, where else have I? I've been like Norfolk for weeks and weeks, mm. and and um, Hartlepool. You know, you see, so you sort of dotted all around. You're not. Yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't really film in London. The main bulk of auditions are there. That's that's the thing. Well, it? even like, now, you know, it's all self taping. Yeah, and for there's the a lot listeners more. Listeners don't know what self tape is. Basically, it's just an audition, but you can do it at home. You can film it on your mobile phone or on your, on your laptop, and they send you a scene, and you have to read that scene in character. Yeah. Although me and you have got something in very in common with this, haven't we? Our, our, our wives and girlfriends so, fucking hate it. So our they? wives and future wives to be. <laughs> Uh, will put 100% effort in, but Charlotte works in a nursery, so yeah. she reads to kids, like, oh, so th- the little baby went up the garden and did it. whereas I'm trying to have a fight with a dragon <laughs> in my spare bedroom <laughs> to, for an audition for Spielberg, and she's like, oh, no, you better run from the steel-sworded night, and I'm like, oh, Charlotte. Yeah. But she tries, and it, but it's difficult. Yeah, my, my missus just, just fucking hates doing it. Yeah, she we've just, had bare she, arguments because of these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she, she, um, Emily, bless her. She's, she's not, re- she's not really. Uh, she hates being in front of a camera. Mm. She's complete opposite to me. Does she, uh, did, so, do that. you put Emily in front of the camera or behind it? Charlotte stands behind. Oh yeah, no behind. No, no. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, I'm saying yeah. like, um, so like, you know, she, she, she's never, voice, she's not got any. Yeah, she hates a voice yeah, um, yeah. on tape and stuff, which I do. I'm not a big yeah, fan I mean, of my yeah. voice. Yeah, I, I mean, there's a there's a brilliant video, and I will find it, and we'll try and put it onto the uh, onto the onto the overrated everything Instagram. Okay. I was telling you about the audition that I was doing. So I was playing a blind, yes, please do, a blind yeah. American, and Charlotte was reading as she does, and I lost my head. And I'm sort of like, hey, bye, bye, doing, do that. I won't do the accent because you're not paying me enough. <laughs> but I ended up punching my laptop off the stand, and you just hear me going, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not bothered. You can stick the part up the ass. I'm not. I don't want it. And then you just sort of see me like, or, or maybe Charlotte just sort of picks the laptop and just sort of checks, to make sure it's all right. Oh, but mate, I need to see this. We'll get that video. Yeah, and let's we'll try do and put that. It on the thing. Um, yeah. So yeah. So like like we said earlier on, we uh, got up in the car. Got to Old Bolton. I keep calling it Oldham for some reason. Oldham. Yeah, we went to Bolton and um, we spoke with the amazing, lovely, wicked, all them words, George Mayfoot. And um, 
here's the interview for that. Yeah, enjoy. It's a brilliant, brilliant interview with someone who, yeah, I mean, I think she's great. Let's go. So, yeah. No, go on. You, you, you. you I do it a lot, though. That's it's all right. You're better at it than me. Am I? Yeah. I've got to be better at something than you. I've not got a buffer. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we're no. here in um, Bolton oh, with A up. Uh, a up. Proper, <laughs> proper <laughs> Bolton. <laughs> a up there. Says there with a the Bruno man. <laughs> with uh, George May Foot, mm-hmm. um, who we've known for a very long time. Yeah, a very long time. When did we do it? Uh, this is England. 2000, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. yeah. 2000, shut up. 9, 2010. Yeah. 86 is 2009, 2010, yeah. I was about to say, 8 years ago. Yeah, it's crazy, that, isn't it? Wow. You played I remember, Gemma. Um, Gemma yeah, you played Gemma, Gemma didn't you? Gemma Sweet Tits. Gemma Sweet Tits. Yeah. Go in there and call her a fat dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually watched the clip back today and it, the bit that always gets me is when he goes, you can run, but I will get you yeah. in yeah. a minute. <laughs> yeah. He's brilliant. He's he's absolutely cracking. Yeah, he's doing that man like Mobine now on BBC. Have you seen that? I've not seen that, no. It's fucking funny. Legend. It's Gus Khan. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Comedian. yeah, yeah. It's, fun, it's brilliant. It's funny. Oh, sick. Yeah, I, lo- I love what he did with the, what Perry does with, with his characters. He's it's just funny. brilliant. It, it, like, so and, and Joe as well, like the pair of them oh, together. Like, yeah. My my favourite bit in that is when they're just they're on about your furniture and it's like, why is oh. that? Why is that got a, its own, it's own carpet? Rug. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's saying that? Did you yeah. remember that though? Because that was obviously like ad libbed as much as yeah, this England yeah. was yeah. like. And I remember holding his tray of like soda stream bottles yeah. in the kitchen, but I was pissing myself laughing. I was, <laughs> I was shaking and the bottles were ching, 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 the, ching. <laughs> I was thinking, like, how am I going to walk in here? I'm keep a straight face. They're hard work to watch, but then even with Shane as well, the director, he, he doesn't hold back on all his laughing over no, the top. No, no. He'll, he'll so his dad, when he's cracking up, you think, oh, if he can do it, I can. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he's laughing. He yeah, laughs yeah, dead yeah, loud, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, backgrounds. he does, yeah. The amount of times that he's have to be taken off set, I remember he... Um, <laughs> when we shot with Kayvan, who's the phone jacker. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. he came and did some on 86. Yeah, yeah, I remember. But he didn't make it into the, into the series in the end, I don't think, did he? No, he didn't. I think didn't all of it got cut because yeah. we, it was too funny. I think it's, yeah, I think it's He like had to go off set yeah. and I couldn't keep a straight face. Mr Sandu... Chris couldn't keep a straight yeah, face. Can imagine. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. all in the shot. There's something about a bee word. Yeah, there. It was, oh, yeah. Bumblebee. He was literally Bumble we was just doing a scene, and then this bumblebee was like, just thinking, and he, like his face just didn't change, and he was just looking at, it and he just went, "Is that your bee?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fucking, it's, it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, he was. A, he, was he was. He was. He was genius. We had some good, like, like yourself included. Like mm. we had some. Um, Good sort of cameos on 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 eighty six, didn't we? Like yeah. people jump jumping in and jumping yeah. out. And yeah, was, Ian Brown was it in Ian it. Ian Brown, it? yeah. Well, I only did it because I did the domestic violence advert <coughs> for the Home Shane. Office with yeah. Shane, yes. and then from yes. that he put me in it for like was it a couple of scenes? Some of that, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's and good. Uh, Maybe we should bring her back if we do ninety two. Oh my yeah. god, Gemma the return Imagine. of Gemma. Yeah. I just remember sitting in the meeting where we was all finding out what was happening to our hair and our costumes and that, and he was like. Chanel, you're going to chop your hair off, shave one side, dye it pink. It was like, team, what everyone's going to do. And I was sat there thinking, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, long curly hair. Yeah, yeah. And he went, oh no, well listen, it's fine. Is your hair curly naturally? He said, yeah, we're just going to make it look like it's permed. Oh, yeah, I was yes. like, oh. what, what would you have done if he, if he would if it would have been like, right, so Gemma's, uh, Gemma's a skinhead. Oh my God. Do you know what? Oh. If you have done it was it the whole scenes? thing. No, I don't think for two no, scenes. No, I don't think my agent would let me do it for no, two no, scenes. No, no, It's hard, isn't it? For t- stomach like for two scenes. is. it's not like that's quite difficult. I think it, like, oh, you've always mate, had long well look at Chanel it could suit mm. you though like Chanel I think Chanel looks better with that pink thing she looks great with the she pink looks for so the people good who are listening Chanel hair. is Kelly in the yeah, series yeah. Yeah. with that pink braid mm. the, the, like the ponytail thing I thought that looked amazing yeah man Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a good striking look isn't it yeah. it's very it put it, it means if you've got the strong facial uh, yeah. facial features to go with it like, yeah. like you have and Vicky as well I think it's got a yeah. great face for it it's beautiful yeah. Yeah. it's ballsy yeah. isn't it for, especially for, for, for you know for a lady like yourself like you say if you've You've always had long hair. Well, that's why I've just chopped it off like... now for a bit I know, of change. I know it's looking quite short. Fancy, yeah. it's a proper really frizz cool. ball today. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool, mate. But yeah. it's better to be long, isn't it? What we in what we do. I'm always like that. I was like, yeah. 
to a certain extent, like I, 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 I don't really cut my hair that much, just in case, because I'd rather go in mm. with and give them the a option bit of it, yeah. to make it shorter. I mean? yeah. You can cut it, but you can't. I just yeah. had the same oh, hair goodness. and same headshot since I was literally about eight, so yeah. I needed a change. Yeah, because yeah, you've been doing it for a while, aren't you? Like that the old like, acting yeah. game now since you were eight. eight that... Yeah, started when I was eight. Jeez, no. Got my first like speaking part before that was like extra work, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I got my first yeah. speaking part part when I was eleven, <coughs> twelve. Oh, nice. What was that? It was on a BBC Three drama called Conviction mm-hmm. with Ian Poulsen Davis, who actually played my dad in Corrie. Oh, really? and, like, he's lovely, isn't oh, he? And he's the best. I seen him in London the other day. Oh, I was like, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he's so far removed from his character as well. Because I remember meeting him in um, I was at some party in town. And I remember meeting him and he's like, Hi, and he's quite well spoken yeah. and stuff, isn't he? And he was like, yeah. I was like, Oh, you're the And he's got oh. a Welsh twang as well, yeah, which when you actually yeah. speak to him and he lets it. Let's it come out. It's cool. Oh, wait, does it come out more when he's drunk? <clears throat> I found that people. I, I've only, literally I only met him at a party. I don't know if he was. Hey, drunk I go to London, me when I'm drunk. Do you really? Yeah. It's probably when I moved back. For a bit. Yes, I did live there. Yeah. When I moved back, it, <laughs> when I moved back, it was weird. I had weird. My mum was like, "You're doing me head in." She was like, "What's water?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" And she was like, "It's water." Water. Yeah. She was like, "What's yeah. a corner?" And I was like, "It's a corner." It's a corner. I think like, when you go somewhere <laughs> though, like we always say that when when you spend time in in a place. Like, I'll do it. Say if I've spent, like, a couple of weeks in London, I'll FaceTime Charlotte at night and I'll say little things that, that yeah. Charlotte will pick up and go, yeah. why is it... Why I is think it? that's the actor in us, you know? I yeah. think that's that ear Chameleon that we have. Yeah. kind of thing. And we listen, mm. I think, because you do listen to people's accents. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, it's, yeah. and it, when you're spending a lot of time with people, mm. and especially, like, with acting, like, you'll know that, like, you know... 90% of it's sat around waiting and stuff, yeah. so you're chatting to people with, with different accents and that. So you do get very friendly with yeah. people very yeah. quickly and you do pick up little mannerisms 100%. and accents yeah, yeah, and that yeah. very, very quickly. But yeah, it sounded like a right knob when I came up. <laughs> but it took me a while to get rid of it. Everyone yeah. in London says I sound dead northern now, but yeah, I, I know pretty I pretty northern at the minute. So this is going on to your topic. Oh, I, yeah. Which is, if you want to introduce City your overrated living. topic. City, City living. living. Yeah. So just a quick one. I've just been for a <clears> week. Yeah, I, I was just gonna. I was gonna pull yeah. up on this. Go yeah. on, oh, yeah, actually. Away. And your wallpaper is like London, yeah. London Street. You know what? Right, so that's yeah. been there since I first moved back in. Oh, no, when it? I first bought yeah. this house, I did it up. Well, can um, you, next time we come round, can you get rid of it, please? Yeah, definitely. Because <laughs> every time yeah. I'm going there, I'm like. <laughs> yeah. What is it about London that you don't love? Why, why don't you? Do you know not, what? Not so it's London, not even just, just London. Yeah, so I moved first time, I moved into a city, I moved into Manchester. Mm-hmm. And I was like right near Spinning Fields. Yeah. Is this during Curra? Um, it was kind of during Strictly, in between Corrie and yeah, okay. Strictly. So where was Strictly? Was that London or Manchester? London. Is it in London? Yeah, in Elstree. Yeah. So that was a lot of commuting, but it's just like, I remember being there and thinking, there's no silence. Yeah. I know yeah. sound, this is going to be the same, <coughs> most of them will be the same things that annoy mm. me from between London and Manchester, but yeah. like, it's just, for example, in Manchester, right? Well, here, I can park my car on my drive. Yeah. In Manchester, I had to put my car in a lift what? In a yeah. lift? Yeah. For your car? In an actual... Like a big, obviously a big, massive kind of, yeah, big yeah. lift. Yeah, I just put my car in a lift to it... put it downstairs. So, you know when you just went in it, you think, oh, shit, I've got no milk. And you just get in the yeah. car and go for milk. No, no, I had to go downstairs, get my car, put it in the lift. Oh, what? So when you were, where you lived in your apartment, it was in a lift? Your car park was in Yeah, there was a car park underneath yeah, yeah, yeah. the apartment, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, God, that's fancy, though. But then, you know, you, yeah, you're living so. in the middle of, of town. I mean, I could so just the walk shops and everywhere, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Calls, but that's, well, I'm too lazy for that shit. Yeah. No, I'm like, <laughs> I, I live literally, like, you could <clears throat> you could probably walk to it just about as quick as it would take you to, to, walk, to drive it. Yeah. I still do drive it. So I, I always think it Aldi, makes yeah. you lazy as well. So both <clears> when I've lived in Manchester and London, you've got Deliveroo, you've got yeah. Uber Eats. Like, mm. you never cook. Yeah. I never cooked, yeah. and I used to I cook a meal every single night when I lived at home. And I started to try and get back into it again because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just so easy to be like, "Oh, I can't be arsed. I'll, I'll just, just get." A it's so much. He- it's easier to be healthy when you're not. But I suppose I've never lived in a city as such. I've I've stayed. Well, we lived in Sheffield. Yeah, yeah. But I was yeah. eighteen, and all I wanted to do was get well wrecked. When we were younger, for me, again. like Sheffield, <clears> like because I did talk my tour there in Nottingham and stuff yeah. like that. They're not as city as like as Manchester. Manchester. I mean, they are yeah. cities, right? Yeah. But they're not as it's sort of built the, yeah. up and as 
claustrophobic. Yeah. yeah. Sheffield Sheffield is my favourite city. And we've I think we've I probably said I think we've probably said this yeah. in every podcast it's, episode. This podcast is sponsored by Sheffield. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, Sheffield's kind of got that atmosphere <clears throat> where you can go and even if you don't know someone they'll speak to you. Yeah. If you hold the door th- for them they'll say thank you. Whereas in London there's just it yeah, just seems like nobody's oh, got time. I mean they've the, got time to look at you like shit but not time yeah. to say thank you. I will give Manchester credit for the fact that the people up here in the city still yeah. are quite polite and yeah. still do. You know if you I always found if you bump into someone and you mm. both turn around and say sorry, but in London that just does not happen and that's nothing against Londoners. Maybe it probably is. I, I, but, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I've always said like the the difference between Manchester and London like People here, they are, they are more friendly. I used to say, yeah. you know, like, it, it's a little bit of a slower pace. Even though it's a big city, it's obviously not as big as London, but there's a bit, it's just a, a slightly slower pace here. Yeah. And in turn, that just makes the people a bit more friendlier. Mm. And in turn, that just makes the people a bit more cooler. And, I just found when I come I mean? home, I kept getting annoyed when I'd go shopping because everyone was walking so slow. That's it. You get, an, I, yeah. I find that, like, you get annoyed at things that... You wouldn't have got annoyed at before. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, like, um... People standing on the right side. Is oh, it the right side? Yeah, now on escalators. I this the other day. Like, it doesn't happen in Manchester, though. Yeah, in yeah, London, yeah. You, everybody stands on the right, and if you right don't, it's like, stand on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's what I mean. I like it that. doesn't happen here, So though. when you come to Manchester and you're in a rush getting through Piccadilly train station or something, and you're, like, going down the escalator, for fuck's sake, just, just, just move. move. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Obviously, Nobody cares here, yeah. 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 I find that, say, say if I, obviously, because I don't live in London, but we go there a lot. I'll sit on the train and I'll be relaxed. I'll sort of be chilled. I'll be reading the script, or I'll be watching some shit on iPlayer or whatever then the second that I get off that train in King's Cross you stressed I, I go I'm yeah. like oh fuck yeah. right I've got to go yeah. now and like say even if I've got an hour to walk from King's Cross to St Pancras which is across the road I'd still say. rush it I'd still I'd still not, or even to Houston it's like a 10 minute walk 5 minute walk yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd still rush it I'd and still walk at that pace and you also end up so sweaty like, yeah it's a sweaty place isn't I it? can go to mm. Manchester for the day out and come back and feel alright mate yeah, yeah. like I'll go London and I go from like my my like best friend's office is in Goose Street, right? Yeah, so yeah. you'd get I'd get off the off the tube at U, well, get on the tube at Euston and it's two stops. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I get off flustered, yeah. frustrated, oh, sticky, s- sticky, yeah. furious. And all your bogies <laughs> I find in London. Oh, now. and you blow your nose, and you got <laughs> all that <laughs> black shit coming out. Yeah, just, that's you know, you get I... sharp bogies in your Also, oh, it's can't make a good cup of tea. <laughs> Nobody understands the stress that that gave me for two years. Oh what? really? So so how long did you how long did you live in London for then? Two years. I two did years. a wet. I did a year west. On the west end, you mean? Oh, no, no west, you, like in, in Hammersmith and Kilburn. Okay, so nice. six months each of those, and then I did a year in East in Bow, Bromley by Bow. And you, in that yeah. time, you didn't get one nice cup of tea. No, I didn't. <laughs> Genuine. And then you were thinking, what oh, do you, do you mean in what? cafes or around people's houses? Just genuine, <clears throat> genuine, even Starbucks, Costa, all your coffee shops, whatever. Do you know where I get a good work where's good for a safe cup of tea? Where? McDonald's. They do no. PG tips, tea bag, tea bags. See, I'm, I'm a Yorkshire, Yorkshire tea, tea bag. Yeah, PG. Yeah, that's why I have at home. Yeah, Yorkshire tea. Tomo. I have Yorkshire tea at home, but I think PG's is a safe bet. Yeah. So it's water's just, just crap. Like, I never, genuine, could get a cold glass of water. Like, yeah. I'd come home to my mum's house and I'd run through the front door, and the first thing I'd do would be switch the tap on. I'd leave it running for a minute. Yeah. Make myself a proper cold mm. glass of icy, northern, glorious, delicious <laughs> water. And then I'd have to go... I literally would fill up a big, massive bottle of it and take it back down with me, because I never... I just... Bottled yeah, water it, do it tastes different, different it, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I, I was like myself. I, I did about just under a year. I think it's about 10 months living in... Um, Living in Hainal, so it's just on the outskirts of London. Kind yeah. of, it's sort of Essex. Lived in what Hainal? Hainal. Oh, please, Hainal. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm just <laughs> um, So, um, and we we, we moved there. Me and my missus with um, my cousin and her fiance, and he's yeah. from there. And yeah, the water was one thing that got me. Like you are drinking it, and you're like, Ugh, it's, chalky. it's it's chalky, and it's yeah, it's, not it's nice. chlorinated. It's not, it's not cold. It's nasty. And since like, but if they come down here, would they? Well, like he our water? he's he lives here now, and he will only drink bottled water yeah, because he can't stand our water. Yeah. And yeah. My brother moves no, to Birmingham. No, my aunt is the same. <clears throat> she yeah. will. She says it tastes like chemicals up here. Yeah, my brother moves to Birmingham. Like, I understand Proper that. Fresh. I did feel like when I came home, I could taste it. It's tasted a bit different. Mm. Obviously, it tasted like home now. So mm. it's, yeah, for you, it's. I feel nostalgic. like I'm just slagging off London. To be honest, it's not about living, is it? Yeah, this this. I mean, what is it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's city living, but. You know, London is that sort of big city, isn't it? Like, yeah. obviously, you know, in the UK, you've got Manchester and 
Birmingham, London, they're the kind of three biggest yeah. cities, but they do have massively different vibes. And I think yeah. for a northerner, you know... I don't think northerners suit London. <clears throat> no, I don't. I don't think I could move to London, like, because I, I get... I'll do, like, I don't know, like, a week or two weeks. Mm. Then I'm so ready for home. I'm me like, too. oh, God. I'll do, like, like an hour or two hours. Just, <laughs> just ready for home. Just it walk at your own pace. And it just... made me so depressed living in London. Yeah. I mean, it was things like... It's the busiest place, one of the busiest places in the world, but I find it could be the, the loneliest. The loneliest, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of cities are like that. And, like, yeah. when um, I was... At, like, night time, for example... I never felt, like, completely safe, even mm. though I was surrounded by people in my flat. Like, you'd hear constant noises outside. There was always bad things happening. It, I lived mm. right near where all the acid attacks happened in, oh, like, Roman wow. Road and everything. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, like, that's the street she walked down to go to, the, like, the nearest yeah. coffee shop. And it's just, yeah. like... It's sad to think that that stuff's happening on your doorstep. Right there. Uh, yeah. And, um, it's pretty unheard think, of, that sort yeah. of thing. Around, like, if you lived around here... Same in my little area where I live in Grimsby. It's so quiet, you don't really hear anything, yeah. do you know what I mean? Well, I remember like, sort of when we when you first kind of... Because I, I live in sort of South Manchester, mm. which is... Um, it, it, it used to have a bad reputation of being quite rough. But I remember, like, when you came down for the first time and you said, oh, like... The old people get stabbed in that, and I'm like, well, yeah, it happens, not all the time. Yeah. He's like, never in Grimsby. Never heard of no. that. And never. It's like, yeah, it's and there's, there's, there's one either. person. <laughs> that's, uh, the only one that I can really remember, like the the, the murder. It was it must be ten years ago. Mm. Like that, someone got stabbed to death. I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, you know, luckily it, it doesn't happen as much anymore. But I guess that's something like live it because because you're from Berry, Berry yeah, so way just out, yeah. Corn, so it's, yeah. It's kind of the same as me, like. It's outskirts of Manchester, yeah. But it's it's close enough to call it yeah Manchester. city. But we're still we're still on the outskirts, aren't we? But I always say, well, I'm more the Lancashire side than yeah. you are, but yeah, yeah. like mm. it's still Manchester, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I just it's just that I think the safety thing was something as well. Like you know, you buy a nice watch, and my dad would be like, everyone would be like, don't wear that you know when you go here or yeah. make sure you're covered up it's covered up on the tube and don't have your phone in your hand. Yeah. And don't you know just have your bank card in your pocket and stuff like anything. I would never cross my mind. Yeah. Like in on the outskirts of a city, just you, it's just always being aware and like. Yeah, it's I think if you've got that. your wits about 100%. you. Yeah. 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 Do you saw that thing recently about that bloke just trying to push people in front of the tubes? Like. Nah. Do you not see that's, it? It's just been. It's just scary. been. The, the tube just pushing random people on the tracks. It's just that I just think it's a, a really busy place. Right. Like you said, the busiest place, but the loneliest as well. Yeah, it yeah. can be like that. But it, it's <clears> mad. Like, say if I'm in London and say if I've got a couple of hours. Or if I've got a day off, it's like, I can't just chill and do nothing. Mm. I feel like I've got to be doing something. Exactly. Whereas at home, I'll just be like, But you can't just live somewhere either. So if I had time and I was here, like, yeah. whatever, I know my family were all, like, within, like, 10, 15 exactly. minute drive from yeah. me. I could be like, oh, you know what, I'll just nick my grandma's for a brew. Yeah. You're in London and you've got 10, 15 minutes. You can't just be like, no, you can't oh, I'll nick... Even though there's millions of people there that you know, not millions because that would mm. make you well popular, <laughs> but like loads of people you know, you can't yeah. just nip there because it's like yeah. an hour to like to get somewhere. And yeah. I find that like like I've got a lot of people in London who I know who I would consider my friends, but not the kind of friends who I can just yeah. chill with. Yeah. Yeah. Like I couldn't really just say, oh, just come on to mine, we'll have a brew and a fee for us. Like they're the kind of friends that I just associate with going, going out, going out yeah. and doing shit that I shouldn't yeah. be doing and in everyone... places that I shouldn't be. <laughs> Everyone's busy as well, aren't they? Because, like you say, it's yeah. a busy place. Everyone's like, you say, everyone's probably in that I think, same I think boat. There's a lot of like, people pretending to be busy in London. Possibly. Yeah, I do yeah. think that. But I yeah. think we also have a, the kind of job where we're not nine to five. Exactly, so yeah, yeah. we're like, hey, do I do something? And we forget that I have people at work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I do that yeah. at home and, and yeah. stuff like that. Like, I ring my mates, like, I'm, I'm DJing tomorrow in Paris. I'm like, do you fancy it? And they're like, Going yeah. to Paris, mate. Like, <laughs> yeah. what are you on about? And I'm like, oh yeah, like yeah, shit. Yeah, you're Literally, a normal I person. For fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. I do the same all the time. Yeah, <laughs> no, but like my my, my favourite city without a doubt is is Sheffield. But then, like you said about the atmosphere, uh, the atmospheres in different cities. Like mm. I, I love Birmingham. I go there a lot. My brother lives. I there. don't like Birmingham. Really? Not, yeah, not nothing I'm, against people from Birmingham yeah. or anything. I just Put I, you I've covering never, your ass now. I've like. never had like I don't know. I, I I'm just not. I've not been there enough. I don't think. But I've not. Yeah. Like you say, with Sheffield, I, I like it. I feel like I feel a, Sheffield and Nottingham have got kind of a cool, like, they remind me of, like, the northern quarter side of Manchester. Yes. Like, just, especially yeah. Nottingham. Right. Yeah, definitely yeah, yeah, reminds yeah, yeah. me yeah, definitely. of, like, the northern quarter. I yeah. love Nottingham. Love, love Nottingham. I love Nottingham as well. Yeah. Yeah. I always affiliate a good city that <clears throat> gives you a good night out. Exactly. Vi- what is it, Viper yeah. Rooms? Viper Rooms. Viper Rooms. Yeah, you've had a few drinks in there. Oh, Jesus, how do remember? I was saying um in an, in an earlier episode that me and Charlotte have said, like, if we would move away, like Sheffield would be up there with mine, but then I just associate Sheffield with 
a brilliant night out and places yeah. that, but then I think I can't move somewhere just on the basis that it's a good night yeah, out yeah true and um, I think that's what London is as well it's like every night the pub's full that's another thing that annoys me about cities where do you go for a nice roast dinner on a oh, Sunday yeah, I've never thought have that. you ever tried yeah. to go into a pub on a Sunday in any part of London and get a nice roast dinner no, no you won't because it's full and because they don't do them because yeah. it's shite so Tuesday <laughs> you think the passion oh, I love it very livid now it makes you so angry Tuesday oh let's go for a beer soz can't get near the bar yeah, yeah. Everyone's still outside in their suits because they've had an yeah. hard day at work. Yeah. Yeah. For God's yeah. sake. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just go home and yeah. have a beer or just, yeah, like, yeah. like, also not go to the pub. You want to go to the pub. <laughs> yeah, they're just there for the sake of it. Every night, though. Yeah, yeah. Don't matter what day it is, it's yeah. Saturday every yeah. night in London and that is stressful. And it's and that's dangerous, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah no matter, like, if you go to London, like, the amount of times I've gone, and I've had things to do the day after, and I've rang, like, I don't know, like Joe Dempsey, or I've rang a couple of mates, mm. and I've said, oh, we'll, you know, we'll just go for one beer. Yeah, Cut to eight in the morning and you're still like, falling out of nightclubs. Yeah. It's like, you can't, you can't be doing that on a Tuesday. That's not normal, is it, that? All I wanted as but well was But it is in London. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fish and chips. Well, Joanne <coughs> even had a proper fish and chips. Well, he always goes Grimsby. on about Grimsby. 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 I've heard about this because Joanne Clifton nice. and Kevin Clifton, of course, obviously, from, from yeah, Grimsby, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they used to always argue that it's the best fish and it chips. It is, really but is. I was a Friday night chippy girl for four years. I'm sorry, I'm, doing, I'm, a, I'm a chippy connoisseur, me. Where, what, so there's a good chippies around here? Like, so where's yeah, your Chase, fish come but it is a Chinese chippy, but that's... See, no, no, no. This confused Tomo when he first came to Manchester. Chinese chippies? All the chippies yeah. in Wivenshaw that I know of and that I frequented. There's no such thing as a Chinese chippy. Yeah, but do you know they're what? They're all Chinese chippies. Usually That's... they are crap, those, because oh, the no, gravy's not on point. Oh, yeah. But mm, cheese, cheese here, yeah, down here in Harwood, is very good. I would, I would, nice. I would cheese nothing against the, the Chinese people <laughs> or, or what, because I, I love the Chinese food that they're serving. But don't mix Chinese food with fish and chips. But then, like, it's not normal. That chips are fries, curry sauce. Exactly, mate. Do that thing. What? I'm trying yeah. to do that noise. Like, I'll go, like, look, when was it? The other night, I got home from work and uh, uh, from uni lad stuff. And, and um, uh, like you were saying, then sometimes you get in, you're like, oh, should we just order or something? Yeah. And I live not far away from a chippy. And, like, but say, you all order the chippies. Are a chippy? No, no, no. All the chippies in, in Wivenshaw are, are, are um, Chinese. Yeah. And I That's said. That's so fucked And up. I was like, Emily was like, what's your fancy? Not. And she was like, oh, I don't know, should we get chippy? And I went, yeah, yeah, what do you want? Do you want, like, fish and chips and that? Or should we get chips and, like, you know, um, salt and pepper chicken and that? And, and that mint that you can get that. Yeah, it is good. So you can go in and get fish and noodles. <laughs> Haddock should be nowhere near any other meat. I don't think. Any of a meat? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, what about a sausage? You get sausages yeah, and chippies, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. in, in Grimsby, pie. like, you yeah. just get a chippy. Yeah, yeah but to be fair, like... A chippy is the, fish and chips. The or, chippy yeah. I worked in was just a chippy. It didn't do none of this fancy, Is that like, the one on Coronation Street? Did yeah. they serve fish? What, for your fries only? For your fries only. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Is that what it's called? I That's think brilliant. it was, yeah. So, so sorry, so you worked, uh, you worked at a chippy on Coronation Street, right? No, I worked in the kebab shop. Ah, but you worked in a chippy IRL. In yeah, real life. In real life. Um, yeah, I worked in one from about, I think I was 14 to like 18. Oh my God, I used to work just a Friday night. Yeah. And it was rammed. And I used to get £10 an hour. It was mad that, right? In a chippy? That's, yeah. That's, that's, that's decent, decent, yeah. People used to be, because our chippy was so good. It's now been taken over and it's awful. But, it, oh, so I don't want to get to all that. <laughs> but it's, um, it was so good. It was so, so a good. A chippy or a Chinese? Our chippy. Just a chippy. Fish and this chips. This one. It was literally like, it was like a little <clears> house. It was yeah. just a little chip. It was made to oh, be one nice. of those. Yeah, yeah. People would be queuing before I opened the door. Yeah. And wow. then people used to bring their own plates. They only do that at pubs really? in Wivenshaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> queuing at the door. The queuing one. at the door at 9 o'clock in the morning. Can we come in for a pint? But in London, no. I, I would they never. think fish and chips is from there. They're like, oh yeah, but ch- fish and chips is, is like an East End thing, like pie and liquor. Yeah. Pie, liquor oh. and mash. Shut up. Have you ever, I would gravy. never in a million Have you ever had years. pie, mash and liquor though? No. Sorry, I thought you were Northern. I am, mate, but my... I yeah. would never have fish and, any fish from London. Oh, no, There's that's a place disgusting. in East London called the Fish right. House in um, near Vicky Park, the Fish House. That is banging. That is a really good chip. I'm I'd feel like I was that. cheating on Grimsby if I had fish outside of Grimsby. But they serve something called a wally. A wally? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably it's probably you if you're paying their prices, yeah. isn't it? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> a wally. So most people have this thing called a wally, which is a pickle. Oh right. It's just a pickle. Just a gherkin. Kind yeah, of thing. like they just get fish and chips and a wally. Mm. You're a fucking wally. Yeah. Why would you want that? Yeah, they do a lot of that there. Like I remember where I lived, like, like Zane Hainault, they had um, like pickled eggs and stuff. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Eels. Oh, Jelly I can't eels? get down with that. Like no I love gravy. seafood. 
but just the thought of an eel, a jelly no. eel. Mm. Like, mm. let's get some really like slimy looking, and then and then put it in jelly. I've what? never heard of it. No. Never heard jelly of jelly eels. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't they, do Grimsby is so passionate about the chippers. Like, <clears throat> it's just, you don't get any of that shit. You might get. Well, get jelly eels is more of a. a it's more like a cockney eggs. kind of yeah, thing, isn't it? Is. I think. Mm. So, like, my cousin's fiance was on about then. Like, anytime we have uh, family parties, um, his mum and dad will come and they'll bring jelly eels for the buffet. Why, though? Don't know. Tell them not to just come. Stick to sausage rolls, innit? Yeah, it? yeah so, sausage rolls, volleyball, cheesecake. City life. Yeah. I'll let I'll let London off a little bit. Go on. We've got to give no, I'll let a lot of a lot of cities off because they do have Greg's now. Yeah. Where's the greenhouse she's at? The what? what? Do you know Greenhouse? Greenhouse, yeah, yeah, the bakery, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why I'm is not, there I'm no not. oh you don't have them in Greenhouse? No. Why is there no pasty shops anywhere? Mm. Do you know how hard it was to go to go through life without having a sausage roll every now and again? <laughs> Greg's <laughs> or sausage some rolls. Form are of long. Pastry. Georgia just said you can't see that, but Georgia said that was such Sincerity, <laughs> like, do you know how hard it was? It was. I had to just sometimes go to Westfields just for a sausage roll from Greg's. Oh, really? Because they don't do it. Is yeah. It... <clears throat> yeah. I mean, that's that's yeah. Again, something that's very northern, isn't it? Some, you know what I mean? Like, there's there's a drive through Greg's now, right? In um, uh, have yeah. you not heard of this? Yeah, drive through Greg's. Yeah. I'm sure it's it's not far from here as well. It's sort of North Manchester. Way. It still tastes probably, the same. It's probably in Kersley. Or it's a drive. <laughs> it's, it's near enough town but it's yeah it's a drive through Greg's oh my god that which is wonderful. just that is Manchester in a, in a, in, in a yeah, fucking in a yeah. metaphor of Manchester I absolutely love Greg's sausage rolls yeah though. they are banging I don't believe there's any better sausage rolls there is Greg's. actually though greenhouses mm. we ain't got one of them in Grimsby I think I've been own. there yeah I, 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 it's like green in it the, the, yeah, an orange do you reckon what, what's yeah. it got greenhouse greenhouse green well shut up Tom but what is there any positives that you can think of about so so you like you say you lived in um, right in the middle of the city. Yeah. What what do you mean before when you were talking about like you never got any quiet? Is that like yeah. eight, things outside? So like I <clears throat> um, see a lot of the houses are shared, aren't they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. So the first place I stayed in um, was a house that had been split into two two flats. Yeah. And it was nice size and everything, but obviously you could just hear upstairs like all the yeah. time, yeah. and you'd be Clear sleeping in. And- Hundred, oh my oh, goodness, really? yes, I really? did. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had the garden. So I'd sit in the garden and I'd be like, nah, shut your window, love. That is bad. Really? I don't need to hear that oh, this morning. No. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. And that, so that's why it's busy. Cars constantly going past. Yeah. Um. Then I lived in Kilburn, but that's when I was on tour. So I was in a studio at that point yeah, yeah, just because yeah. I needed to move out of my other flat. On tour with the Rocky <laughs> With a Breakfast at Tiffany's at the time. Oh, right, okay, yeah. So I was in Kilburn, but that was like, because it was a studio, it was a studio in a house. Mm. And every time next door would go into his studio, yeah. it sounded like he was trying to come through my front door. Jeez. And it was terrifying. So just on the weirdest noises. Not, yeah. I always find that no place in London would ever feel like home. Never. For me. Yeah. Like Honestly. this in London. <clears> like, <throat> like, if this was in London... And even if it did, you couldn't buy the fucker anyway. No, like, yeah. yeah. so. like, I had a one... And that's another thing as well, <clears> the price. I had a one-bed flat um, that I used to rent in East London mm. that was quite spacious and, like, I felt so lucky to have it. It was mm. on, like, the 13th floor view of everything. It was beautiful. But it was never homely because it yeah. was just white. Yeah. And I couldn't do anything to it because it wasn't mine. Yeah. But that's renting, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Like I suppose house. everyone in London, and I think they're even in denial of themselves, they go, oh, I've got this. It's a good deal, though. Everyone says, oh, I've got, got a good price here. And then you tell them, like, like, you pay for yours. Yeah, 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 exactly. like, you haven't what? got a good price. Yeah, exactly. You're still paying extortionate fucking rate. My yeah. rent on, on a one-bed flat in East London was over double what I pay now for this three-bed house. Mortgage. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same, yeah. really. We, we literally... Um, we lived in like a, a three bedroom house that we shared with my cousin fiance and her little and their little girl mm. and then it was me and my girlfriend that like now my wife. Um and yeah, what we were paying there, sort of half in everything. Yeah. Um we now, yeah, pay and a fraction. Well, because you're on the mortgage. telly, you're, you're a mega you're mega oh, rich, don't so you? Because so <laughs> you're on the telly, remember? I know you listen yeah, to us yeah, rich yeah. people. No, it's it's not that people way. People think all, it's it? that, but it's yeah. actually not. And I think yeah. that's the thing as well, is you kind of like I was paying so that's another thing, self-tapes, right, as an actor. Yeah. We have to do a lot of auditions now where you don't go into the room and do them, you have to video yeah. yourself, yeah, and yeah, it can yeah. be a bit of a ball ache, but yeah, yeah, it is quite them. freeing sometimes to have the time mm. to do them. Yeah. Um, yeah, so in London, I had no one to help me with them, so I had to keep going to Spotlight. Oh, and that's a cost, And yes. that was £60 yeah. an hour. So if you, for like example, like the other week I had like four self-tapes to do in a week, 
That's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah you're talking like, like 200, yeah. Yeah, it's like 240 quid, isn't yeah. it? Like, in, in just one week. Yeah. And that's a lot of money on top of extortionate rent, like what on top of paying, having yeah. to travel to Leicester Square to mm. go and do it. It's like, I, I, I genuinely... Whereas here, I just get next door's daughter to come and help me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I genuinely that's... don't understand why people go to London like, and pay them prices, because you don't... If you, it would be my luck that I'd get get to London and would get a, like a contract out on a on a mortgage on a like a rent in a place yeah. out for like six months. Now with get my luck, I'd get a seven job seven month job in Manchester. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And then you're paying rent down in there and down here. That's exactly what I and did. People mate. think you need to be down there now for acting, and Deep it's the balls. complete opposite. If exactly. I be up here, have a better mental health, yeah. have a bit more space, have things a bit happening more around you. Well, I mean, look save at, some money. Yeah, I was just saying, like, look at like just like where you're at now. Like we're driving in then and. Like you, you're in the hills and it's yeah, beautiful. Like, like, there's yeah. houses over the way and behind them yeah. houses, it's beautiful green hills. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do strip the next year if I can get an house like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had this before strip. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like that's 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 what people in London work. A lot of people in London work for to get out and away, yeah. don't they? Yeah. If you if you're yeah. living in London, you're a slave <clears throat> to the city. You are, but, hey, I think. But some people yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah. Like, and that's fair so play, man. Sasha Parkinson, shout she, out Sash. She's a legend. Yeah. Uh, also, obviously one of my good friends. Yeah, yeah. She really can't wait to move to London. And we've really? had discussions about it because she's like, I know how much you hated it. And yeah. I was like, yeah, but maybe that's because I wasn't in a good place when I was down there. I wasn't mm. in a good relationship. And you mm-hmm. know, a lot of factors to yeah, why yeah, it yeah. wasn't good for me. But I just... I can't imagine living there again unless I had to for something. No. Yeah. Of course I would go there if I needed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can't wait. Yeah. She can't she, wait to go there. Where does she live now? Uh, Wors- <coughs> like, Worsley, Tilsley. Where's that? Is that like... It's literally not like far 20 minutes. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the thing is... With I wanted an actual address. I, I to see her. <laughs> <laughs> I've grown up, I've never really wanted... I've never really thought, oh yeah, city life for me. Yeah. I like my dream, and is literally, I'd love to live on a farm, mate. Oh, like a in, nice cottage. Yeah, mm-hmm. just nice. Little, like, have a few little animals and that. Yeah. I'd be, I fucking love that. But um, it's a lot of upkeep though. Isn't oh, it? but I, I, I fucking hate gardening. You know? That's my <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Hate <I> gardening. <laughs> it's hard enough picking up dog crap. Exactly. Never mind yeah, that is true. Dog. It is true. I don't think I'd be good yeah, at it. Yeah. So but, like, yeah. I have a little dog called Marley. Yeah. He does. When I moved to London, yeah. Because it's not great for pets. That's another yeah. thing. I'm raising kids. It's exactly. Not so he ended up moving in with my mum. Now you can't back. I know she won't let me have him. Oh, <laughs> no. He's my Marley now. But he's only literally around the corner, yeah. so yeah. I see him nearly every day anyway. That's nice. Yeah. But, y- yeah, like... Bleh, I don't know what I was going to say, though. <laughs> um, one thing you were saying there, like, about raising kids and that, one thing that made me kind of want to move back... So me, me and my missus, we moved there because she um, she's a nurse, kid's nurse. Mm-hmm. So when she left uni... It was like there was like no jobs in Manchester for yeah. her because it's narrowed down. She can only nurse like kids. Pediatric. Yeah, pediatric yeah. nurse. Um, there was jobs in like Liverpool, and she didn't drive at the time, so that had been a mooch. But then there was jobs in London, yeah. and my cousin was debating moving there with her fiance. So we're like, should we do it? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Like, as you said earlier on, I'm an actor. Yeah. London's the place to be. Oh, darling. Obviously, <laughs> you've got to move to London and, and and became you know infatuated with this idea. Like, when I was younger and I was acting. It was like, well, yeah, I'm going to have to go and live in London at some point. Yeah. And um, we did it. And then, like you say, like, I started getting more work down here, then, up here then. Yeah. And then I'd, in my head, I'm going, right, I'm going to go to London and I'm going to be, you know, going out, meeting people all the time. I'm going to get into that mm. London lifestyle. It's going to be great. Networking. And it, Well, not networking because <laughs> I fucking hate that. Networking. But like just meeting people, seeing people. Do you know what I mean? Like you've got mates there that you've worked with who yeah. live there and all that. And I'm then, too much of an asshole. You just to be never did it, and like obviously, like I was with my missus, and we we not we've been together about a year or so, and mm. we wanted to settle down and stuff like that. But it's just so unachievable it there. Is. And mm. yeah, and I feel like as a couple as well, <clears throat> you still have to maybe house share mm. to be able to afford it. And yeah. I think that's actually quite hard because you 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 stuffed in the smallest space. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I have this house by myself now, and it's. A bit probably a bit too big for me on my own, but I like it now no, because yeah. I had gone from being in such a small area to just having all this space to be able to put my stuff everywhere yeah. that I need yeah. to put it in. I just think my mental health, honestly, because I've been I've been open about it, haven't yeah, I? Over the past yeah. like year and stuff, it's been quite difficult. But it definitely started to go downhill when I was living there. Yeah, and I yeah. do just think I'm a really family orientated northern. Same. Yeah. You know, got yeah. an amazing group of friends up here, and I just kind of. 
I lost it all a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and you can't force that sort yeah. of thing. Like, if it's not you, then you shouldn't and do it. I like... used to say, go, go out and make friends. I was like, Mum, but you don't understand how hard that is to do in a city. Yeah. Because if I just walk up to someone in the middle of a bar on my own, they won't talk to me. Mm, mm, mm. That's, like, that's they true. They genuinely won't. And it's, it's you know, again, like, like, yeah, and it's having that friend base there. But even when you've got that friend yeah. base there, they're all busy and they're all doing stuff. So, yeah. like, there is a slightly better community outside of cities I guess even though there's more people in cities yeah there's more like you said then before like you know sometimes your next door neighbour will come in and help you like video oh my gosh I lived in in London for two years and I can't say I ever spoke to any of my neighbours yeah it's crazy in fact I spoke to one in my last in my last flat because there was a massive massive amount of screaming outside and everybody came out onto the balconies to see what was going on and somebody got literally there was like an argument and this person got in the car and literally drove over somebody what? and then smashed God. through the gates to get out so everyone was like oh my <clears> gosh <throat> that's why I spoke to my neighbour yeah, how awful is that whereas literally I rang my neighbour yesterday asking if he had a, a guy who could come and do my bathroom or he was like do you need me to put some shelves up and they yeah, yeah. you've probably seen it on my Instagram they bring me my tea nearly every night oh, oh really that's nice if they're making like a roast dinner or whatever you know anything yeah, they'll be, yeah, yeah. they always text me saying are you in do you want me to bring some round that's I'm, lovely it's got I'm a nice community, community feel hasn't it like yeah like right around our house what um, around our area we live in a dead quiet little cul-de-sac and a woman who, who had not really i think i've said hello to like nodded as we drove past so something had gone wrong with her washer like a pipe had burst and mm. she couldn't move it and she come and knocked on my door bearing in mind i could have been anybody mm. and she come and said oh will you just come and move my washing machine for me that's and crazy. i just think like it, and yeah. obviously i went and did it but like in london <laughs> i told her no fuck yeah, it off. Do it yourself. how <laughs> ridiculous is this right so i've got a parcel here that i need to give to a neighbor because neighbors around here take parcels yeah <laughs> so, yeah that i always have yeah. Yeah. yeah and in london i had my mop on my mop and bucket on my balcony right and it must have slipped i don't know how but it had fallen off and gone like two balconies down so oh, when shit. I looked over I was like oh I was on the 13th floor I mean oh. mop was dangling <laughs> just, the mop. <laughs> just the mop right so it must have slipped down this like little crack and fallen onto another balcony I knocked for about two weeks to get that mop back I'll put letters under the door everything I knew there was people living there yeah no one ever brought it back I, if that was me yeah. I'd have gone and just put it outside the door yeah. 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 The corridor, but no it's been, mad isn't it people they just, just take everything in for you and yeah, just, people I, yeah. just seem a lot friendlier. I think when I think the more north you go until you get to Glasgow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people are pretty friendly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, do you I think mean that's what this, that's why <clears throat> London has such a heart. I think as well with London, there's a massive language barrier. The, the language barrier is a massive thing. I lived that's in Brixton for about thing. ten nine, nine, nine weeks or something. When I was filming, yeah. and again there was neighbours there didn't speak to it. Like, but I think that's why it's such a lonely place because. A lot. There is a language barrier. There's so many different cultures. like cultures there, mm-hmm. and people from different countries and different languages yeah. that it's it's all lost in translation a little bit. So I think that's why yeah. people don't necessarily stop and have a conversation on the tube. Yeah, because you don't know you if don't that know if person English, understands English, you. And stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you know when you're on the tube, pissed up? That's a laugh, isn't it? <laughs> You know, I've been on the tube and you yeah. I'm a nightmare. Yeah, if you're Swing fair, around times. Off the Honestly, like hanging a competition to everyone's just much. looking like, yeah. <laughs> also, if you get on the tram in Manchester, you <clears> never <throat> end up stuck under someone's armpit. Yeah. Like you do on the tube. Yeah. Or getting Thinking. your nose nearly chopped off when the door gets, shut. It yeah. does get quite rammed though. Um so, so my, I'm on the airport line and I like am. like, you know, if you're going into town at like rush hour and that yeah, all coming true. home. It gets a bit ram, but um, be fancy these trams now. Come back home and say, "What are these yellow things?" They're nice, aren't they? Right, Rather I than am. them old white, but uh, the, the old white and grey oh, ones all had yeah. like cool names, didn't they? Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? <laughs> these, what I think there's only one now that's like the Manchester B one, isn't there? Oh, is there? But the, none of them have got any uh, any cool names yeah, anymore, which is a bit. I know shit. what you mean. I just do. I just don't know. I think. I just think. London is a is a difficult place. A very difficult place. Yeah, and and like say, is, is that? Did you find? Um, would you go and live back it because you used to live in the centre of Manchester didn't you I think yeah. I went to that place yeah Did you, would you would you move back there what into Manchester into the centre of Manchester do you know what if, you, if, if you'd have asked me this when I was in London I'd have been like yeah, yeah yeah but now I've come back into my old house yeah no no because I don't need to there's no need to do that well, you can get in and out and I can get in and out in what like 20 minutes mm. and yeah. I've got I can have a car here that yeah. I don't have to put in a lift yeah I can <laughs> I can just chill and it's easy and like I said I come look out the window and see hills and stuff yeah. I mean that flat was lovely in mm. Manchester it was very nice but it wasn't ever home like yeah my friends always say to me, my house is quite cosy, and I always think that is so that is such a nice thing for someone to That's say. That's what you want, don't you? you, you want want home, you, I don't yeah. understand why Especially anyone wants to live in a city yeah. centre. 
Yeah. I don't get it why you no, I mean, I, d- I, d- I, d- I, d- I do get yeah. I do get elements of it, like I, in a like, studio flat. So it's like yeah. The only time I've ever really lived in a city centre would have been when we were kids and we did the film. Yeah. Because we, me and you, lived in flats, bang in the middle of Nottingham, didn't we? Yeah, I was right yeah. next to the arena. So yeah, so I was like, the other side of it. Yeah, yeah, so we, yeah. And and I, and I, I enjoyed like sometimes just sitting on the balcony and kind of and it's like people you, watching, buzzing like, off the vibrance yeah. of it. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, but, but now, still, man, I couldn't think of anything worse no, than like. Same. Yeah. I love sitting in my backyard. I, I don't really smoke so much anymore, but I love sitting in my <clears> backyard with a coffee and a fag. Yeah. And like just staring the birds oh and just like. That just sitting the in the summer, if you live in a city centre, you're on a balcony. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you and it's fumes. Just... Yeah. That's the no. first thing I noticed when I moved back home. I remember I was laying in bed and my bed's at the back, so where my garden is. Mm. And um, <laughs> that sounded like my bed was in the garden. And I didn't <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. And, uh, I heard the windows <laughs> You, you take this raw yeah. living very, <laughs> very, very, got very well. got outside. <laughs> Um, and I remember lying in bed and I woke up and my windows were open and I could hear the birds tweeting and I woke up to birds and I thought, That's nice, oh it? my gosh. Yeah. I've literally woke up to silence and birds. Yeah, whereas yeah. normally I was waking up to seagulls going over the Thames or cars or yeah. sirens or yeah. cranes and building work because city centres, again, yeah. there's n- it never stops I just being love built peacefulness. Up. Like, I, I love, like, say if I'm away, I'll, I'll always try and, like, go to the gym or yeah. do some of my days off or, like, but I can't, I won't be able to go jogging, like, running through oh, London. No. Not Fuck that. I mean, it's not yeah. healthy for you. If you if you go jogging through London, yeah, you're getting, you're getting fit, sort of. But you're breathing you know, but, in, but you're breathing in diesel engine Proper fumes. horrible fumes. I honestly man. think, like, my skin was the worst when I was living mm, in the city. In London. Now mm. my skin's, like, so clear and yeah. fresh. Everything was just... Just horrible, like yeah. trying to dry your clothes. Yeah, your... yeah, you yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah, Do you know yeah. how much of an effort that was? Get a dryer. What you didn't, didn't have a dryer? What, what well, was no, the deal I had one of them washer dryers, but then oh, we had one of them when we lived in Essex. They're terrible. Yeah. Awful. You put your balcony, you put your maiden on the balcony because you're like thirteen floors up with all the wind. <sighs> yeah. Just to fall Nickers over. Nickers flying everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. All the all the like say all the fumes and yeah. all that. Just it's not very nice. Sticky. I love, I yeah. love just like. I love putting these socks out. and sliders on and just walking down the beach and that like I love doing that yeah you're lucky in that yeah we're really really well, yeah, lucky like, like, like through the yeah. summer like me and Charlotte we <clears> went we went running up and down the beach like we found this like nice sort of five and a half k run yeah and it was just like a beautiful like you run all the way down the beach and then mm. you run around the nice boating lake where all the seagull uh, all the swans are and then run back down whereas if you're in London you're yeah. like you're running around homeless people there's, I mean there's nice there's nice there. places I I started um because um, I've lost me, I'm old old now and I've lost me rail card. Oh, and, uh, me too. Yeah. How oh, awful shit. is that? Can't... It's when you know you're old. I forgot to yeah. renew it as well. I, got it. I forgot. Yeah, you can do it from 26. Mad. You can yeah. have another year. Totally yeah, I, well, I did that. Happy birthday. Did you renew your rail card? You shit. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. It's yeah. not a happy birthday anymore. Yeah. Um, Bastards. But no, I mean, like, so I've started not... I'll get there and I've got a bit more time, especially after an audition. I've got to wait now until the, the cheaper trains. Super mm. thing. Um, and I just... I'll have a walk around and there is some really nice areas in, in London. You know, there's... You know, there's Hyde Park. Yeah, there's... but what you've got to forget, remember as well is that in the summer... This used to really wind me up. Everyone came yeah. to every man and Every man and his dog and all of them stupid literally little barbages, literally, are... On them, yeah, like Vicky Park, London Fields, yeah. they're they're absolutely rammed. Yeah, absolutely now them little rammed. squares that you get in Soho <coughs> on them benches, I love them at, at, in yeah. summer yeah. At, at lunchtime. Like yeah. Soho Square, everyone's fighting that. over benches and that. Yeah, yeah. Down <laughs> and the I, think I do love London, and I said this to my mum the other day. I was like, because I have a special connection with it. Mm. Like, obviously, with us, we've been going down there on our own since we were like sixteen. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that was not normal for a sixteen-year-old to be running around no, the city centre. No. But we did that yeah. because that was like ten years ago, and we Part had to job, yeah. afford to yeah. take our parents with us. So I've known London like the back of my hand, and then I've lived there. So when I go there, I do know where I'm going. I know yeah. where to take people. I know what I'm doing. So I have nice connect. I have a yeah. nice connection mm. with it, but I love to leave it behind. Same. London's so nice. If you go for a couple of days. Like, I get stressed. I come I, yeah. home and I have, I genuinely have anxiety attacks. I have anxiety and I can go to London. I'd say any more than four days, I start to feel myself going. Yeah. And I come home and it takes me to sit and literally switch my phone off and read my book and sit in silence for yeah. another two days before I can. Yeah, you have to wind again. down. I found that when I was working down there, I was working sort of five, six days a week, but Charlotte was coming up for the weekend. And we did the whole... 
you know, we walked around Hyde Park and then mm. we went to like the zoo and mm. then, you know, did all the, the touristy stuff like mm. the London Eye and all that. Yeah. And it was nice. But then after we'd done all that in like two weekends, I had yeah. another five weekends and we found ourselves just like, what do, you? What do we do? I mean, there's yeah. one, that's it. Went think, out for a drink. Yeah, Sasha Charlotte Cook made a nice roast. I think the thing roast. is with London as well, it's like Netflix. There's yeah. so much to do. Like, you know, like Netflix, there's so much stuff on there that's most of the time you just, you just skip through stuff and then go, you know what, I'm going to fucking sleep. Yeah. London's the same there's London so much Netflix. stuff to do <laughs> but you just go I'm just going to fucking stay in and play on my Xbox do you know what, do you know what I mean because yeah. you, you're just overwhelmed there's like you can go you I've know, started do doing it I've started taking my Xbox with me to London that's yeah. a good idea yeah. though you know <clears throat> it, like, like... plugging it in in the hotel just enjoy it. yeah can you do that what? yeah, like, yeah. What? well it depends in some hotels you can just plug your HDMI cable in yeah that's cool I'm yeah. Yeah. I got stressed because like I ne- the nearest place to me was Victoria Park which you takes like not long to walk around yeah or greenwich observatory which was nice actually because you could see like the whole of london mm. but you'd have it was a nightmare to get there it was a taxi ride yeah. it's not that easy to get there on the tube i literally can, can have a moment and i've got a place called jumbles which is like a 15 minute drive around a massive like lake is it a lake i don't know what yeah. you call it is that the big massive, reservoir it's thing. like yeah it's, it's literally yeah. just round here or you can walk up winter hill which is a hill that you've just seen here you know that was on fire yeah, yeah. not long ago oh is that round here yeah that's literally the hill right in front of ah, with the big right. mast on it oh, right, okay. it was there because that was all on fire it was awful i was sat here oh. watching it it was just terrible Jeez. um you can walk up <coughs> that which is a beautiful walk yeah i love all them Holcomb sorts of walks, hill in yeah. berry which is again another 15 yeah. minutes up the road yeah got, and i just think that's what's lovely about not being in a city is if you're feeling a bit stressed or you're feeling like you need just a bit of a moment you can get away from it you yeah. can just step yeah. out your house go well, and see someone have a nice coffee or go for a walk it's right? slowly happening now though in london a lot of my mates who are, who are age who are actors um are moving down now to margate and places like that oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mar- yeah. Mar- margate's be become now mm-hmm. like a lot because it it's still um it's still quite pricey, but you're getting sort of the seaside. I know um, you can get it Sasha, out of London, like. Sasha's friend. I know she's got a mate who lives like no Jordan. Oh yeah. Um and Charlie Palmer and all like they yeah. all live down in in at Margate. All of the moves. Yeah, so they're all down there now, and it's an hour and a bit in on, on the train into London. It's like yeah. Brighton when I was in London. Brighton's another yeah, one. Yeah, Brighton's another yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. When it's when South End as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah a lot South of End's them. dead nice. Yeah. When I lived in Essex, we went down South End. Yeah, that's where what. He was my ex-boyfriend from South End, so he used to go into there a lot, and it isn't it really nice. Yeah. But we used to go to Brighton a lot. Yeah. And I loved... I was like, that's where I've I want to live. I've never been to Brighton. I I've loved Brighton. I don't think I've been to Brighton. Frankie Kikos is from there and it puts me off. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about um, other cities then? So forget London, forget Manchester, yeah. forget, forget the UK. Could you see yourself living somewhere yeah. cool like New York, oh, LA? Venice or... I've been Venice. Or, or Venice, Venice nice. that's a city, yeah. Any, any, is there you know any what? cities that take your fancy abroad? I've never, ever found the appeal, <clears throat> ever, of New York. I've never, I've never thought, been. I want to go there. Have you been? No. I, I'm, I'm not, I never, ever, as a kid, like I say, I'd, I'd, I'd rather go somewhere like in, you know, if my, my mum and dad were going to Spain, I'd be like, let's not go Benidorm, let's go here where it's like really Spanish and do yeah. you know what I mean? I want to see the culture. And I never really, yeah, I'm saying I never really fancied New York, um, just because I was like, it's just gonna be like London, it's gonna be a big city. Mm. Um, I went l- lucky enough to go there like last year, and it's it is fucking cool. I know, but it I just feel like I'd cool. be so claustrophobic. Charlotte's been a couple of times. She loves you it, do. but I, it's not something for me. I'm, no, I'd, I'd only go if it was for work. Yeah, I'd pay to go. I'd live in LA. LA's my, my, I would love, I mean, I, we was literally been, just I'd go in there LA. tomorrow, yeah, I went last year. It's just, twice. it's a big city. Yeah. And in, the thing well, is with New York. you can drive it though. Yeah. I mean, if you don't mind sitting in the traffic. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can drive around <clears throat> everywhere and it's just. Have they like, really got carpool lanes? Running. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite yeah. crazy. So like, New York is like, it is very like London. It's very, it's a city, but it's all pff, squashed yeah, in. built up. And built up. Where LA is a city. It's flat. And it's, it's just, for, for miles around. So we went on this, like, we went on our honeymoon and we went on this, um, Emily wanted to go on this trip for like looking around celebrities' houses. Oh, and I yeah. thought, we're going to be tourists. Think we're going to be tourists. I really want to oh, do it. it. She just I wanted to see Bieber's Charlotte. house. Charlotte says, Oh, should we? I'd like, love like to do that. I go, Right, so put yourself in this situation, Charlotte. Just one second. So, so we're sitting at home, right? <laughs> this, is where, this is where he strokes his ego. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just saying. Because this happened to me the other day. I think I might have put it on Twitter. Or, I, but basically, I was sat at home yeah. and, and I saw some guy. And he was in a black tight Mercedes on the front. And I just saw his window go down a little bit. And this little camera poked <gasps> out. 
Ah. And then he took a, a flashing photo. I was like, it's a fucking hell. I was like, what's going on? Got so like, Jack, fucking come here. <laughs> and I said, he just took a fucking photo. She went, yeah, yeah next door's house is up for sale. Ah, so, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, but shit, I was shit, like, shit. But at the, and I thought, and I said to, and she, even Char, like, at the beginning was like a bit freaked out of why someone was taking a photo of the house. Yeah. And then I said, so your mum, Char, has just been to America. And your mum was on this bus <clears> and she was taking photos of people's houses. I was like, Imagine that. It's not it's, you. Yeah. yeah. It's strange Can't get and it is out. weird. Can you Can't get out. It, yeah, it's strange <laughs> and it's weird. And and like I say, I, I, it's not something I normally do, but like we, it was like our first day in, in uh, LA. We were staying in Hollywood and we were literally around the corner from like Hollywood Boulevard. It was fucking mm. so cool. And we were walking down on the boulevard and there's all these trips and like, yeah, you go and see like celebrities' houses. And mm. I was like, it's a bit, always, it's a bit daft that. And then, but we were like, no, we're going to be tourists. We're yeah. going to do this. Let's go see where thing. Miley Cyrus lives. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, like, it was, fucking you know, loser. we saw like. Uh, really, I'm really fucking judging you for this. No, yeah, don't, man. It was, um, it was cool, but um, where was I going with this? But yeah, so anyway, we, we, we go up this hill and we'd just gone past Michael Jackson's old house and we're up near, it was like Michael Jackson's kid's house. Oh. Obviously, it wasn't Neverland Ranch, it was Michael Jackson's <laughs> children's house. Yeah. Um, that sounds and then, worse. Well, his, his, yeah. Careful. Then we drove up to, up top of the hill, and um, the guy just parked up, and he was like, if you this wait, is, this is six LA. hours, you might see him bring his shop. No, 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 no. He parked up and he was like, look, this is LA, you can see mm-hmm. the whole of LA. And like we say, New York was very squashed and built yeah. up. LA is a city that like, it literally doesn't stop. No. It's just, there's there's high rises as far as you can see to your it's right. It's a bit like Bangkok. And like then that. as far as you can see to your left. And it's just crazy. And he's parked there and he goes, if you look over in the distance, you'll see the sea. And then you'll see like a, a nearly blue, did an American a accent. Blue did, yeah. mist. You nearly did one. And that blue <laughs> mist is the, like the, the water evaporating. Then there's a slightly grey mist. Yeah. That's I have a picture of fire. this. That's, um, wildfires and then that black mist at the top and there's this big thick black mist he was like that's the pollution. fumes from the yeah. traffic and that you can obviously Ugh. i've got a picture so when you go up the runyon <clears throat> yeah and you're in the hills there's the hills and then literally the hills disappear and the whole thing is just flat for miles and it's then you'll just see this big cluster in the middle which is downtown la like just oh, a little cluster yeah. but I'll, I'll show you the picture after it's just literally Miles of just flat land. Really, it is incredible. Like I love walking down I the beach and just smelling fish. But I mean, I mean, I you know, no, LA is <laughs> California and like LA's got its like. Like you know, Venice Beach, yeah, I Venice stayed Beach, there yeah. for ten days. We're off to time. Miami. I'm off to Miami in January. I think that's a completely so different fun. way of like looking at oh, America, is it? isn't it? Like, it's a bit. That's a bit. I'm never party, been interested in Miami. Miami's a bit, yeah, Miami's quite party. You know what? I've never really had an interest in going to... I, Charlotte... I love America. We booked here. Miami for our honeymoon because she said, she went, I really want to go to Miami. And I said, why? Because <coughs> of a film that she watched, I can't remember what it's called, but she said, I really want to just put my feet in the Pacific Ocean. Oh, yeah, because on a film that you've seen, the Ma- Miami's not even no, the Pacific Ocean. No, 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 no. Cost us about a grand. Now. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was yeah, just yeah. going to say, yeah, fucking my, yeah LA oh. would yeah, be she's Pacific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just love it. I just don't know what it is about there. It's the vibe, it's the food. Could you live there? 100%. And it's yeah. the only other place. In LA, you could live in LA. Yeah. The middle of the city. But the thing is, LA doesn't seem like a city to me. Why don't you exactly. try it? Exactly. Because does it's it. not like a city. That's the thing. Like, Why don't you try it? Why don't you I mean, do you know what? Obviously, if work come up and I had to go over there, 100%. And yeah. I'm definitely going over next year for a month because it's nice to be there for the meetings instead of yeah, having yeah, to do yeah. them by tape. Mm. Um, and I can't wait to just go there on my own. Mm. But I just think it's like. It's not like a city. Like, I wouldn't class that as a city. No, I mean, it is very, like it's you say... so open. Yeah, it's massively, like, yeah, it's it's just wide open, isn't it? Mm. Like, the roads there, like, like the, the one thing that, that I've always... Because I've been, like, to and from America since I was a kid. We used to go to Florida and stuff like yeah. that. Is how big, like, the roads are and stuff. Mm. And I could never get it. I was like... Why are they so big? It's and the then Chinese someone said, to, "Someone said to me, there's no Chinese chip shops there." And someone said to me, "They're like, you live in Europe, so the roads in Europe originally, especially if you live in like cities like Manchester, mm. now, they were built for horse and carriages." Which is why London. And is a lot awful. of America, they were built for cars. Yeah. Like that, you know, the the majority of cities were built as like cars were starting to become mm. real. So that's why it's like 
like the roads there, mate. Like you'll see when you There's have so you been to place. you've been to America. I've right? never been. No, no. no. I cried They're when I flew massive. into LA. Really? Yeah. It's so scary, LAX, isn't it? It's, well, I mean, yeah, that made me cry. I was waiting for two hours. Didn't think I was going to get through. It was it's awful. Huge. But what? Because of the security service and things like yeah, that. Yeah, it's just so straight. Is LAX it gonna be is like its me? own little city. Yeah, it's massive. Never is it going to be like that for me in Miami? Uh, Anywhere possibly, going into, yeah. into America is difficult. Yeah, you have to do all checks beforehand and that. Do you, you know all that? Like, you have to do your, um, what's it called? Yeah, Esther and all Esther. that. Esther. Do they do, like, bum surgeries and stuff? No. I mean, oh, the, the, the thing is, is they don't, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't <laughs> dick about over there. there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? The you best thing that, that they do. Yeah, yeah, you know like, why are you here? And you're like, oh, no, I'm just coming here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not working, I promise. <laughs> when, um, I remember uh, when, when I first got with, with, with my wife, when... Uh, um, it, well, not when we first got with I've known her for years, and then when we first started going out with each other, we were with each other for about a year, and it was the 21st, mm. and um, I was like, I'll take her to Disney World. So oh, it must have been a good year. must have been a good year. It was a good year. Yeah, yeah. And um, now she gets Skegness. The, the best, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going out <laughs> um, The best thing is when you go through the airport, and you, you have to, so like here, you know, like you go to a um, passport control down, they just kind of look at a picture and go, yep. So yeah, so you go over there and mm. you have a chat with with like their um, passport control and they're talking like, uh, so um, are you here for business or pleasure? Yeah. Nearly did the amount. I, I know. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so well like, you go through the machine first. You oh yeah, you go through like, that machine machines. that gives you a tick or a cross. Yes. I got across. What's that? Oh, oh, that's just a check, a random. It's because I haven't been there before. Yeah, so it's like whether you'd been in the country or not before for them to have to do them. <gasps> yeah, the checks. Yeah. It's oh. like whether you go through quick or whether you go through slower. Yeah. Oh. Awful. It's 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 I had mad. a visa it's denied mad. going into America a couple oh, of years dear. ago. Oh really? Because I filled out my Esther wrong. Oh that's it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, need yeah. to do that be at before. Yeah, I've already done it and it's oh, been nice. accepted. That's cool. that's cool. So that's probably gonna <coughs> flag up a thing in it in Yeah, yeah definitely you'll get but, Yeah, so anyway. Charlotte will get a tick and you'll be like <laughs> <laughs> So so this guy's like uh, so you here for uh, business or pleasure? Oh you did it! Hey! <laughs> Can't help yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, um, um, season. We're, we're, we're for pleasure. It's like, it's the 21st night. It's like, okay, so what, so what do you do back home? And I'm like, oh, um, um, uh, I'm an actor. And he's like, oh, stage or screen? Like, literally, yeah. like, fucking putting me on the spot. And I was like... Well, and then he pressed this big red button. He was like, nah! Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what do you mean, stage? I'm a fucking actor. Why does it matter if it's stage or screen? Do you know what I mean? Oh, wow. If I turn around and I went, I'm a, I'm a hey, builder. Would he be like, do like, you build houses? Or do you build... Do you know what I mean? You build Fuck walls. Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. build walls or houses? Well, he asked me that on my car insurance once. And because I was like, it doesn't matter. Oh, no, it does. Yeah, oh, I no. got denied no, insurance because of an actor. They, yeah. they cancelled it because I was like, why does it matter? I'm More likely to be crashed into broken into and things like that. I know well, it's in house it? house insurance. I remember yeah. when my mum renewed her house insurance not long after I'd done this in England, or whatever. And they actually asked her. They said, "Oh, is it is it like random question, dear? Is is anybody there who's in the entertainment business, or whatever?" And my mum was like, "Yeah, my son's like an actor. Is and it, and it put it right up, put yeah. the price right up." Well, and my mum was like, "Why?" And she was like, "Well, you know, if he has someone round from a big actor round or something, they fall and hurt themselves and get." You know, high risk. done over, and it's like, what? That's crazy, I isn't know. it? Well, like, like, we don't, like, you know. But we don't already suffer. Not, yeah, we don't already yeah. suffer yeah. skin yeah. all the time. Exactly, that. people yeah. think it's the opposite, and it's... Yeah, it's definitely. mad, isn't it, what people think, just because you're an actor, it thinks, like, that every, your life's yeah. just... We were saying about the other day, everyone just thinks that your life's amazing. And don't get me wrong, we are so blessed... People were saying it, you too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get me wrong, we are so blessed to do what we do, but... Yeah. Having said that, like I think the real the real work the, uh, the hardest work we do is when we're not feel, when we're not working. 100%. And I think that's another thing as well is like city living. When we were talking about it, it's it's a stressful thing that we already do. It's constant knockbacks. Yeah, more yeah, than yeah, yeah. more than the you're giving the yourself. Yeah, in constantly. your auditions, you give yourself. Yeah, in the city as and well, it's, it's more. There's more people look like I always find find it more com- uncomfortable especially when I was on Corrie and stuff walking through all of those crowds of people every mm. single day just to go and why get you, why some you on the, why like, you on the stuff tube? like that like yeah. stuff like that yeah, yeah and people are looking at you and taking photographs of you I was, I was going to ask you what's it like obviously being in a city after being in something because obviously we get recognised every now and again mm. like, yeah. but Coronation Street on and every Corrie night was, yeah. you were quite you were in, quite, you were in everyone's quite front room yeah. five days a week do you know what I used to walk my dog around here mm. and the amount of houses I used to walk past with the, with the curtains open and I could see him watching Corrie and I used to think this is mad that's crazy yeah it's yeah. weird yeah. Him, like, because it, that, and everyone thinks that they know you that, that they think that's what because oh. I, I remember do you, 
soap stars are the only people for me that sort of send me a bit. <gasps> oh God! Mm. I, I remember that like, I've been looking at me some massive. That's why you to come here? Is yeah, it? some oh, massive American. Yeah. <laughs> some big American. You work with us. I know, but you've got the same birthday. But when I met, I remember I met Bruce Jones who played Les Battersby in Coral. Yeah. Oh yeah. Met him, lost my shit. Yeah. Did you? I didn't know. I, honestly, I was like, <gasps> I called him Les. I went, yeah. oh Les. Yeah. That's it. We've grown up with yeah. them. Like, yeah. I understand. Like I've always said. I mean, I would like to think I'm a very normal person. Yeah. yeah. I would like to think it's never affected me, and I am pretty normal. Yeah, of course. You know, mm. a lot of people aren't. As we, as yeah. we all know. Yeah. There's a lot of people in the business who are quite. Yeah. Strange. Strange, but it, I think. For but me, you can see why they'd go strange 100%, in a way. 100%. Because, because yeah. it's, it's, it's weird. And like you said, you sat there, and like you sat there on the tube, or you sat sitting on the train or something, and you can see people taking photos of you and stuff. It's like, dude, man. Yeah, you've got to just... I just think, just ask. Yeah. That's all it 100%, is. 100%. Just, just yeah. ask. Mm. And I'd say, yeah. You're having a meal and people are taking was, photos of you and that. I was oh. always taught off my parents to be grateful yeah. for everything. And I am... And it's and I, I'm very lucky. But I've also... What people forget is I've worked very hard. Yeah. And we've been... You know, the amount of hours we put in, the amount of, like, stress we put ourselves through yeah. for it. And, and also, without those people who do ask you for photographs and who do stare at you, who do get excited to see you, they're the people that... Give us work. Yeah, we're because not without those yeah, people yeah. watching you, mm. those programs wouldn't exist, and we, we wouldn't be working. Yeah. So yeah. you've got to be grateful for people doing stuff like that. Mm. But there are ways of going. The about ways it. of going around it. I like. That's what I've always said. Because you know, like I had one of the night I was at Hull Fair. Yeah. And there was a guy, a guy and his missus who was walking, and I see the guy. And he, he turned around and he'd noticed, and he said to his missus, and she turned around and she went, "Oh, him, him!" Pointed in my face. I was like. Yeah, it's horrible. Nice. 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 I was like, that's pretty rude. Street three you years ago, and I still get, are you that girl off? Corey? Crazy. You just yeah. Yeah. Yes. But, like, I don't mind, but I have achieved other things yeah. since and mm. before. Yeah. And I feel like, it, I understand Coronation Street was, like, such a big platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm very yeah, lucky yeah. to have been on it, but it is difficult. And, that, and that's what I found how living in the centre of London and living in the centre of Manchester is... You, you're constantly in contact with people. Yeah, yeah. And you can escape a bit. Because yeah. around here, you're in your community. It's yeah. instead of, no, oh, it's there for carrot. It's morning, Georgie. Hi, morning. Georgie, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. you see your yeah. neighbours, you go into a local shop, but even though I had a thing the other week where the woman did it in Morrison's around the corner, As, I, yeah. I was fuming. What, what happened? Yeah. Went into Morrison's. And that's another thing in London, they don't speak to you in the shop, so I'll give that a good thing. Yes, right? they don't. So you yeah. go into the shop, no, I don't they like just that. serve you and you come out. Well, here... Yeah. I went into. The, I mean, I've lived here for years. Went to the shop and this. Um, I was trying to buy my uh, paracetamol because I was real poor. It was on yeah. slightest. I felt like absolute shit. And this woman went, "Oh, sorry, love, can't serve you them." And I went, "Why?" She went, it's "Challenge twenty five. I said for paracetamol. She went, "Yeah." She went, "I mean, I saw you in here the other day, uh, and you got served, didn't you, off that woman?" I was like, "Yeah." And she went, "Well, it's it's unlucky she's not here, isn't she?" She went, "Just because you're famous, don't mean I can give him you, <gasps> right?" And I went, <clears throat> "And I have to keep my gob shut sometimes." Oh yeah. Mm. And I just but went, "Why? Why do you have to keep the gob shut?" Like this, I said, this, this got nothing to do with that. I said, "I'm really poorly," and I went, "Are you really gonna make me fish?" Them out of that shopping bag and she was like yep yeah. and she stood there and watched me but she was like looking around as if to say yeah, yeah I'm look get, what I'm doing I've got here. one up on someone and I just here. thought honestly if that was in London they don't care they just want you in and out because yeah. there's massive people behind you they've got to yeah. serve like the shops are yeah, never yeah like dead. you appreciate that they're doing the jobs and that like someone IDs you but like she you was you doing it just for that yeah. just for that reason to express what you do as a job so like, yeah, you do, that don't need so that don't need a glorifying. Not you know at I mean? all, and embarrassing. So as much as people in London might, you might come in contact with more people who would, you know, ask you for this, that, the other. Mm. Sometimes here, it's made a bigger announcement. Like yeah. it might be like too yeah. much here. Sometimes yeah. it's all a bit of a song and dance. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Down yeah. there, it's more of like it's just a bit. But more that that is nice. You can with with. You know, we we just said that, like, obviously in the suburbs or whatever, like, you can escape. Yeah. But you can also do that in the city a bit, can't you? Yeah, because well? you can hide. Yeah, you, you're yeah. sort of, like, hidden amongst the masses. Yeah. Which yeah. is sometimes quite nice. Because yeah. I'm like that. Like, I'm, you know, very rarely get recognised and that's my mouth that does it for me, but... Uh, I always amazing. hear your adverts. Every time <laughs> I hear honest. your voiceovers, I'm always like, oh, there he it's is. It's amazing. Like, sometimes when we're at, like, a festival... People have come over and said hello to me and like asked him to take the phone. And I love it. I not love it. I'm, I, I love feel like it. saying, you realise you've just given... We had an argument in Birmingham, wasn't it, right? Because I love it, because I'm, I, I, I'm not... I don't mind getting recognised. Yeah. It comes with a job, yeah, whatever, exactly. and um, that's fine. But 
it's not something that I strive for. Mm-hmm. And um, we were in Birmingham one night and we were DJing and this this girl pulled him up and was like, oh my God, you're, you're, you're Thomas Turgo, what's out of this is England, can I get a picture? And he was like, yeah, yeah, of course. And then um, he went, on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a brummie. Fire. And he went, he went um, yeah, yeah, that's that's Gadget as well. She went, no, it's not. <laughs> and he went, it, it, it fucking is, it's Gadget. And she went, no, it's not. And I just went, I don't know what he's on about, love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Oh, he's he's, he's no. winding you up like it's. Yeah. Like, but um, do you ever get that one when, like, <clears> say, there's a group of pe- group of mates who, who have recognised you, and you get that one person that's like, don't know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah don't I don't watch it, but yeah, I don't watch it, but yeah. yeah. I mean, I've never watched Coronation Street, but yeah. my mum likes you. Yeah. But I know who you are. Like, it's okay. funny in it. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Some sure. people's reactions, but like for you, it's like on a scale that's like ridiculous, like. A soap stars, you can't go. I, I'm good friends with Danny Miller, who's in Emmerdale. Um, and I remember we, we had like a charity thing in Manchester City Centre, and we went down for a fag and we just got chatting. And then um, what's it, some girl had come past and, and she'd recognised me and we got chatting. And then she went, and then uh, there was a hen party walking mm. up, and they all went past him. There must have been about 30 girls, all went past him. One girl at the back went, It's Aaron out of Emmerdale. Oh, 30 of no. them turned round, and I was just like, <laughs> Put my fag out and catch you upstairs, mate. Yeah. He was down there for about 40 minutes. No, like, it is. I mean, I madness. thought Combination Street, like, catapulted us into that sort of life, but Strictly was... Like, was that even more ever. so, yeah. yeah. Mm. That was so difficult because it's just they're constantly looking for something as well to write about on that, but I just think it's, you know, yeah, it's yeah, a I weird know. thing. I think with, with things like, like, we've got an episode coming out soon. Um, which we've already recorded, um, like with, about reality TV, and, and they do. They, yeah. they, they, we were we were saying in that episode, and you guys will hear it at home soon. That that's their job. I, I was saying like they <coughs> look at um, they want people want to see the misery. People want to yeah. see people mm. fail. That's why you know people stop watching the X Factor when yeah. it gets to the live performances because. They only really watch it for the auditions where people they know that some daft person's gonna come yeah. on. Not some daft person, that's probably the wrong thing, but some what someone's gonna come on who's this poor bloke or woman who who, who really believes that they can sing and, yeah. and the producers know that they can't. They're just doing and they put them in front yeah. of hundreds of people and, and yeah. it's it's nasty. Okay. And, and it's that's the same with that. Isn't strictly it? for me was the one that the only one that I would ever yeah. do. Because, mm-hmm. it's because it was learning for and me, it's, it's, it was more it's about talent. learning a you skill. Learn, yeah. learn and then from that I did Rocky and I did, you know, my first theatre show and I think yeah. that I wouldn't have probably really pushed good. myself onto something yeah. like that if I hadn't have done live T V yeah. and put myself literally Oh my god! You're going live. You're going to do this dance now, and if you mess it up, you mess it up. Was it hard work doing all that? Was it? Was it? Tough? It was terrifying. Because you, have you done dance? Did you do dance before? No, like that? I did a bit of street dance when I was a kid. But yeah, there was like yeah, thirty yeah. of us in a room with our socks on, like for an mm. hour after school. It weren't anything yeah, ever serious. Yeah, yeah. So that was completely new for me, like completely new, and it was incredible. Like it was such a good experience. When did you come on? Did you did you win it? Yeah. Runner up. We've got nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was nice. good. Excited like yourself, for someone who's not done it, so you've come yeah. so far. Yeah. To go and to do that, like to come come second, it's brilliant. But it's so did you say you was you filmed it in Elstree in London? Yeah, and I was commuting. So um, what? How many, how many how many days a week was you training? Like Monday to Friday. Friday so you was, was commuting in the every studio. day. No, so I I trained in Manchester, and sometimes ah. in the week I had to, I had to go down for it takes two, which mm. would break up the week and then what I had to like train the, down. Was that like the 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 sister show? Yes, yeah, so it's like on IT. Uh, Ooh, BBC Two, <laughs> sorry all that. Yeah. Uh, BBC Two. Um, so that was like the Zoe Ball show that we did. Ah, right, cool. Um, so you had to do that one day a week. Um, Friday was always like a studio day where you went in and. Did, did like yeah, VTs? And, yeah, well, yeah. the VTs were done in the week while oh, she was, was training. Yeah, so yeah. they used to stress me right out. They'd be like, can we just pull you for some interviews? I'd be like, I need to learn this dance. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> One day was always like an awful day because you'd just find out your song and your music. Mm. Like, your song and your dance. Tuesday was, I used to call it Tits Up Tuesday. Tits up I'd Tuesday. always have a breakdown on a Tuesday. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Wednesday, I you just kind of get it, but Wednesday you film your director's tape so that they can see in the street, in the on the show, like, what your dance looks like, where it's going to be, what they can do with the lights yeah, and the music yeah. and, and the floor and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so Thursday, you had to know it. Sounds and in God, between that, you did all your interviews and it takes two and your BC. That's do you so have enough time pressure, to stop? How long, was that go, how long did that go on for? Well, I did the whole run, so it was... Six, um, seven weeks, is it? Is it more? I think I did it from, like, August to December. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, it was like three months. Time. I think it was sixteen weeks all in all. Fucking hell, I was so wrong, wasn't it? Oh, Jesus. Twelve weeks, sixteen. 
That's yeah. There's so much more that goes into it than you don't realise. Mm. Oh yeah. Like with real. I remember it's like that. you're learning a dance and then yeah. they'll shove this big dress on you that you've not been practicing on and you're like, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. So they are some pretty cool dresses. Oh my god, there. the dresses were incredible. Does it get to keep any of them? No. No. One of them sold for like nine grand. Really? Yeah. Oh, what they sell? They sell, they sell them after. Yeah. Tight you get, do you get any of that? As Did worn you? by George May Foot, you don't no. get any of that. No. <laughs> They're covered in like. Like crystals and stuff, though. Oh, aren't I think they? that's like, what it is. Yeah, yeah. So they're all really expensive. Wow. Um, I think we can, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just wrap up. Right yeah, about, just about, yeah. So, um, yeah. But we, Lesson learned just don't live in a city. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless it's LA. <laughs> Buy an house in Bolton. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Bolton. Bolton's yeah. lovely, man. Like, yeah. really. I like really Bolton. Yeah, it's, it's good. Nice, good isn't it? um, yeah. Thank you very much, Georgia. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you, mate. Thank you. So there it was. Um, just a lovely chat episode again. Episode five, yeah. It was. Um, <clears throat> it was a nice, again, just a chilled, sort of laid back chat, learning things that you might not have known about Georgie or about myself or about Andy. Um, mm-hmm. Still find it weird calling you Andy. Yeah, it's um, mad, isn't it? it is, I think you called it me earlier on, and yeah. I was like, "We're not, we're not recording now, mate." Just yeah, please, please bring back to normality and call me dad. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get your daughter to call you gadget earlier on. I heard just that at like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dad is not called that. <laughs> yeah, no, that was good. I enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, it, it's sort of an insight into to Georgie that you know we we didn't even know as friends. So it, yeah, it was good yeah. to have a chat and and it, and it, like I say, it does get you know it does get a bit London centric. But again, you know it it is something that a lot of a lot of northern actors struggle with, man. Like you know it is it is bloody expensive and it's also expensive to to get down there Even all just the time. Travel to commute yeah. there, man. It's yeah. ridiculous. You know, I, like we were saying in the podcast, where as soon as <clears> your, your student rail card runs out, man, you, that's yeah. why. That's the only reason I passed my test driving. I was never bothered about it. Yeah, but yeah. But now I'll drive to like. North Do you drive London, into? I London? drive to Epping. Okay. Or to Chingford. Yeah. Park my car there for free and just get the central line straight nice, in. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. See, I yeah, I mean, I've I've lost my rail. I've not lost it. I'm just too old for one now. Um my rail card and, and I depended on that and, 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 and I'll tell you what as well Tomo the buggers did Virgin Trains right you st- you, with your rail card your 16 to 25 rail card you used to be able to get a ticket for me to get to London it was like 50 quid yeah and that was a um, any time you could come back any time it was it was an open any time return 50 quid and literally sometimes you know auditions are kind of like normal fucking meetings right like yeah. you know, the people who, like who cast interview. yeah the people who cast um work office hours so nine to five so normally you'll have an audition or you'll have like a voice job and, and they'll try and get you in for like nine o'clock and um, a lot of the time with voice jobs it's like yeah can you get in for nine and it's like i can't because now twice as much yeah and, and what they did virgin trains is they, they, they then stopped it with the rail card so that you could only get on the off peak ones. Ah. Uh, yeah. So is that what they're doing now? That's yeah. what they did, yeah, man. It's, it's amazing how, like, you can... I don't know. I genuinely don't know how they can justify the amount of money that... It costs, like, <clears> it infuriates <throat> me. That train is so long. There's so many carriages. And it's like, everyone's sat in there and they're probably yeah. all paying 100 quid each. I don't believe that a train can cost... Say if there's... Crazy, isn't it? Say if there's 100 people on that train, which there's a lot more. Oh, Paying a £100 pound each. You're talking, what's that? <sighs> Maths, 100 grand? I don't know. Someone, someone tweets. <laughs> Whatever. It's, it's a, a lot, money, a lot of money. Yeah. And it's I don't want it. a train cost that to fucking go to London. Oh, no. Of course it doesn't, mate. I mean, it's, it's And you're massively... talking train after train after train. Exactly. After train. It's massively, massively overpriced. Now, I, I do... Overpriced I do everything. Think overpriced that's everything. That's everything that's that's I genuinely do think that something needs to be sorted out with that. And, 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 and not that as well. Like, you know, nowadays I, I, I get the train up and down and, and it's like 80 summit quid, which... You know, sounds oh, it's fucking eight something quid. Like, but that sometimes can be once a month. That sometimes can be three times a week. Yeah. That sometimes can be you know, every it's, other day. And it, and 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 it, it just it becomes something that it's like, you know, and 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 this is this is why the chat I I guess kind of went from city life to, not not bashing London and that, but you know as, as an outsider looking into London, 
it's it's a strange it is a strange alien place that people it's, it's, a, it's a weird place yeah and people can grow up there and and, and, yeah, and but, stay there and, and and somehow afford to kind of live there and it's, yeah. yeah they say the chances of like young <clears throat> young people our age of getting a mortgage are like unless their parents are sorting them yeah. out it's not going to happen it's yeah. like it's, it's, it's shame, um, what's going on here? who's that that's my friend Chris Pugh dropping us a message. Pugh. He, Chris Pugh's got an idea for a short film. Everyone, thank you for that, Chris <laughs> Pugh. Um, but no, I, this is this is a genuine story as well. Once I was travelling down to London to do Celebrity Juice, I think when This Is England Night was out, and they booked me a first class train, and I would never ever do that myself because I think first class is overrated. Yeah, um, yeah, and, silly, silly thing. And I remember I print, printed the thing and. I didn't know what time train I was getting home to. I had a couple of meetings, obviously, because when 90 was out, there was all kind of, kinds of things going around. Yeah. And I said, I didn't know what time train I was getting. So they booked me a first class anytime return from Grimsby to London. And I shit you not, when I punched in my reference and it printed out the ticket, that train to London return yeah. cost more than my mortgage Jesus, for a month. Jesus, man. How can you justify that mate I know Grimsby's not the nicest place in the world but I've got a, pr- a nicest ha- nice no house, no like. no it, it's do you know what I mean I can sit in my house for a month and I get four <laughs> hours on a train do you know what I'm saying it's, how can you justify that something needs to change you can't man it does it does it does definitely um you know what I'd say I'd say vote Jeremy Corbyn and, and, and nationalise the rails but that's just what I'd say guys you do you do you is that one of the things he's saying <laughs> yeah he? man yeah yeah well, to, I, I'm to, more, to, Corbyn, to then. more Corbyn here we go we've got him yeah. um, we've got him we've got him Jeremy we've done it we've succeeded it's took me many years um, no um, but it's not just the trains that are overpriced in London if you want a hotel if, yeah, I do I mean, but <laughs> I, I mean the amount of times that I've said to Charlotte we'll go to London and we'll do this for your birthday or do that and, and you know and you look at hotels and it's I, Charlotte's a genius on the internet like she yeah. can find the cheapest she managed to find us at Hollywood no when we went to Ben Medina and you was there yeah, yeah, yeah she found us like a week each a week in Ben Medina for, for the pair of us it was like 190 quid like less than 100 quid and that wow. was flights and hotel so she's a genius at stuff like that but you know, it, it just the hotel prices in London are ridiculous. It's hard, man. I mean, it scares, it scares people away. But then, you know... And it's not worth it. Yeah, it isn't. It's not it really worth isn't. it. We, I, the only time I sort of pay for a hotel in London is when we try and go to the uh, Winter Wonderland every year. Yeah, Charlotte yeah, yeah. loves Christmas. So we'll go to London for that. But other than that, man... You know there's one in Manchester, just saying, and it's, it's quite nice. It's all indoors and it's a bit Yeah, different. but it's not... It's, it's yeah, not that. But I'm just saying it's You know it's, what it's Charlotte's good, like? She's very cheaper. particular in what she wants. <laughs> yeah. And she scares me, so I just give her what she wants. <laughs> but um, no, so yeah, that, that chat with Georgia, obviously you've just listened to it yourselves and... We we had a really nice. It was it was nice to catch up with an old friend, and it was nice just to just to talk and you know like talking about you know other cities that uh, you know because 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 the theme was city life is overrated, but you know there are cities out there that are very different, and each it's cool because each city's got their own vibe. Like obviously we spoke about Manchester, and you you've said before that you you'd consider Manchester. Yeah, we would consider it, but maybe not Manchester. We'd consider Wivenshaw. Oh oh, well, there we go. But I, I mean man. I, and like we said in the podcast system with Georgia, I, I could never understand why anyone would want to live in a city centre. Yeah. Because yeah, it's you just... can't go you, you can't go running because you've got to watch over traffic. Yeah. You can't there's so much you can't do, like But I mean the thing is is and we didn't really touch on this in the podcast, but like a lot of these places I've got a lot of mates who live in, in the city centre. Um, and they all the, 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 some of the apartments in Manchester good if well, you're young and single yeah I think. some of the apartments in, that in Manchester are mint because they're like old mills that have been like converted into into flats and that and some of the flats are probably bigger than my house yeah like the mint yeah and then they've all got well not all but like a lot of them have got like their own gym like one of my mates has got a little cinema room in his flats what? in the city centre in, in his flat block in his block of flats yeah right in the city centre so there's, there's, I think, I think there's, there's a massive push to get more people living in the city at, at the minute. Yeah, of course there is money. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, yeah. yeah, that's it. There's a lot of redevelopment, especially in places like Manchester. Yeah, uh, well, we London's saying, always redeveloping, isn't it? We, we were saying like Manchester now. I think Manchester's slowly becoming the new London. I think it is with, with the BBC. Uh, yeah, you know, man. All the ITV studio. I mean, Media City is <clears throat> insane. Yeah, it's, yeah, I love Media City. Like a lot of social media is based there. Like the yeah. two biggest. Like you say, like a bit. Of, yeah, it? and a lot of filmy, filmy people and people yeah, in the man. industry will be moving to places like Wivenshaw, and you know, and, and I just hope that it doesn't happen to places like Wivenshaw and 
that, that what's happened to London. Like you're getting local young kids who are born in places like Hackney and um, Packham. We're kind of getting pushed out. We're getting pushed of, out yeah, because yeah. they can't afford to live there, and it's a shame. It is it a is. shame. Um, but yeah, uh, again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in once again. Yeah, sorry if you, if you uh, heard my little pump then. <laughs> mid, <laughs> he loves mid, it, doesn't he? Yeah, I love a good pump. If you've made it this far, um, you'll know we are um, looking for sponsors. Um, always, if you want to get your brand or your products mentioned and that, get in touch with us. Um, overrated everything pod at gmail.com. Is I think right, but look at the Insta. Um, or ring if all else fails, get in touch via Twitter. Yeah, that's Instagram. That's a good We're not way. on Facebook because Facebook's overrated. Yeah, Facebook's a bit overrated. <laughs> isn't it? Um, but yeah, and um, obviously give us a follow on Instagram uh, at overrated everyone. Yeah, everyone. And Twitter's the yeah. same, isn't it? Yeah, or just put overrated and it'll come yeah, up because we're up. that fucking popular now. It will. And um, we look forward to seeing you guys next week when we have a fellow. Withenshaw boy um, on as a guest um, Tiny Tim Bradbury um, yeah look out for that see Who, you next who's brilliant with his videos of, well he's a, he's a YouTube sensation he is he? a YouTube sensation yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's got, got like 1.9 million followers uh, on that's on his Facebook yeah yeah, yeah he's got 300 it's nearly as many as you that how many you got just a few I've got um, 2.1 million something like that I know mine is bigger than some countries my yeah, following yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is, yeah. is not well Justin Bieber shouts you out quite a lot Justin lovely. yeah I mean that helps that Justin gives yeah. me a little nudge every now and again yeah, and of yeah. course Pharrell Williams me and him yeah, me yeah. and him do bits um, and, and with and with and with um, the Carters Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, you know it's Jay Z. Yeah, Jay Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with them um, this weekend, so that'll be cool. Yeah, um, yeah. Enjoy. Uh, yeah. Enjoy next week's episode, guys. Yeah. See, see you later.